coverage you can count on begins with the breakthrough at Doctors Hospital. The Joseph M. Steele Burn Center is now the first in the country to use technology that treats burn and wound patients. Graham Lee has the story. So this is one of those exciting times uh, in my career. It's a major step forward at the Joseph M. Still Burn Center using a technology that has been decades in the making. You know, it was the early 80s when the concept of harvesting the, the regenerative capacity of cells, you know, as a, a spray on uh, occurred in the 80s. That concept is turned into the technology known as Resell Go. Skin samples from burn patients are put into a machine that processes the skin down. Once that happens, doctors take a spray nozzle with your own skin cells and spray it onto the wound. That not only on our smaller burns, you know, decreases the amount of discomfort that our patients have, but on our larger burns allow us to go back and re-harvest and get closure in a timely fashion, which certainly I think will improve survival in the long run. The technology was first approved for use in the U.S. in 2018, and it comes from a regenerative medical company known as Avita Medical. Dr. Naraj Doshi says Resale Go also makes the process faster for doctors. It actually takes a process that took several steps and actually automates that. As you can see, you know, you've got the device that takes a lot of the, the work out of creating the final regenerative epidermal suspension and automates that so that the doctors actually can utilize that time to do other things, you know, care for the patient. Fagan says it's also a boost for the burn center because they admit an average of 3,400 patients a year. As we continue to, to move forward with this product is that we, we want to bring this technology to our patients as quickly as possible. We want to, you know, just continue to improve it. And I think the collaboration that we have will have that happen in no time at all. In Augusta, Graham Lee, WJBF, News Channel 6.